a new photo has surfaced online showing the only two-seat stealth fighter in the world, the J-20 fighter. The photo shows a lot more details of this unique aircraft. The J-20 two-seat variant was first revealed last year. It has made its first flight and is being tested further. It is the only two-seat version of a stealth fighter because the American F-22 and F-35 don't have a two-seat model. This is the first time we can see the newly modified canopy open. The canopy is enlarged and hinged at the rear to accommodate two crew members. It seems to have a big stud supporting the center frame of the canopy, next to the rear seat dashboard. Only the front seat pilot has access to a large-sized head-up display. The fighter is in manufacturer's yellow paint, which is the color of the common base paint of jet planes. The radar dome is a dark gray color, likely not painted either. All weapon bay doors are open, providing a clear view of these stealth design elements. The side weapon bay can house a PL-10 short-range air-to-air missile. The Chinese have given it a unique design where the launch pylon is attached to two ring structures rotating outward, while the F-22 fighter has a sideways folding sidewinder missile launch pylon. The main weapon bay door is also open. The size of the two main doors is enormous to cope with the four PL-15 medium-range air-to-air missiles inside. The photo also gives a bit more of a visual of the landing gears. Clearly, they are not intended for aircraft carrier landings. The structures are only for airfields in good condition. There has been no word on whether the Chinese Navy would consider the J-20 fighter. In a previous media report, the Chinese Air Force pilots have confirmed that training is actually more reliant on simulators. The J-22 seat variant is likely to be used for more intense missions or as a command and control center for a drone fleet. Of course, it can be a trainer jet if required. Two crew members are essential in some high-intensity missions, like ground attack missions under enemy air defense threats, long-range penetration, targeting well-protected command centers or aircraft carriers, plus anything that requires another crew to provide more brain power. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.